how to fix roblox error code 268 and that you have been kicked out due to unexpected client behavior hello everyone welcome back to our channel genie guide so in this video i'm going to be guiding you on how you can fix unexpected client behavior you have been kicked out due to the error code 268 so make sure to watch the video till the end now this error code means that your roblox id has been banned and that's simply put and to the bottom line that is the answer to your question now in order to fix this there are basically a couple of things that you can do now the reason this happens is when roblox notices some kind of suspicious activities from your account so maybe you're trying to buy roblox points illegally or maybe you're trying to use some hacks and some mods and roblox notices that and then they're going to keep your account shut for temporarily now if this is a permanent ban and there's nothing you can do about it you just have to contact the customer care or else what you want to do is first of all you want to simply go ahead and open the settings application now you could be using it on your pc you could be using it on your mobile whatever the case just open up apps first and then on the list of these apps you want to simply go ahead and actually search for roblox so just go ahead and do that so for roblox tap on it scroll down go to storage then click on clear cache if possible also try to clear the data files then once you clear the cache files and data what you have to do is open up your play store then simply check if the roblox app has an update now if it does make sure to update it after we've done that the final part is about using a vpn the reason i'm telling you to use a vpn is because vpn is going to change the ip address so if roblox has banned your ip address then it will most likely give you the option to log in when in this time connect to a vpn and then try to log into your account so hope this video helps you and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have got any questions queries or doubts feel free to also leave them down in the comment section thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you in the next video